Hi. Uh, I want to try and make this video as quick as I can. It's going to be boring. <laughs> Basically, I just want to show a video of uh, my little hot plate working. Uh, many people have uh, done, well, tried to control the temperature of a uh, PTC uh, uh, little ceramic heating plate with uh, before, and I've seen not many people succeed. So I, this is just basically to show that this works. I've tried to make it as small as possible. Um, it's just mounted on a piece of hardboard, uh, six mil, and then I've got two chunks of wood uh, which it's mounted on, just to give insulation to the underneath, basically. Um, uh, and that's it, really. So uh, and it's all powered off the mains. So there's a little transformer to power the Arduino and circuit. So I'll just plug it in, um, there should be a little logo when it starts. There we go, little logo there. And then all we have to do uh, to set the temperature, set the target temperature, which is in Celsius, uh, and we just rotate this uh, uh, knob uh, to whatever temperature we want. Uh, so. Uh, it's currently about 20, 21 degrees in here, 22. Uh, so we'll we'll try 50 degrees to start with. So it's got some way to go. The thing is with these uh, PTC uh, ceramic heater elements is that they want to get up to their max temperature as fast as they can. It's the way it, the, the internals work. Uh, so so. When you set the temperature, first set the temperature, it'll tend to overshoot. So what I, I do is usually I set it about 10 degrees less to start with. So if we go to 50 to start with, uh, what I'll do is I'll set it at 40 degrees. And then basically as it warms up, um, it, it'll overshoot 40 because, um, the, like I said, these heat up, re they're really efficient and they, they heat up really quite quickly. Uh, you don't need much current to go through and it'll just heat it up. Uh, so what I tend to do is if, if say I want this at 50 degrees um, I'll, set, I'll first set the target at 40 and it will it will overshoot that target um, and then as soon as it starts to drop back down to the 40 degrees I will uh, sorry, drop that back down to the uh, 50 degrees I, I want it at. I will then turn it to 50 degrees and then it will settle down at the 50 degree mark. So we'll see how it goes. So so basically you can see that it's overshot 40. So I'll just wait till this starts uh, counting down. Uh, should start uh, reducing. So, so basically, it's, it's it's sort of settled there. Now I'll I'll turn it up to the uh, the fifty degrees that I want. So if I turn it up to fifty degrees now, it won't it won't overshoot so much as it would if it had set it at fifty to start with, basically. So um, like I say, it's this video boring video, just to show it works. I, I've got the red light here. This is to show that this is too hot to touch. Uh, basically 50 is when it first comes on anything over 50 and the light will be on so as it's settling there uh, so because it's this is we're at the low end of the dot touch you, you can't I can't actually touch it but I can't keep my hands on it basically at 50 degrees uh, so anyway it, it'll, it'll settle uh, but like I say it's very easy to heat these up and it's better if there's some load on it so I've got this, uh, basically it's, it's just a cardboard box and it's, it's full of lead, <laughs> that's why I used to wear things down, but basically it'll act as a load to take the heat out of the plate and it, it will control the heat better if you've got something on it that you, you are actually heating up, So because it, it, it'll take the heat out of this, this uh, the, the plate basically. And you can see it's, it's settling down now. 
So what I'll do, I won't stay too long here waiting because it does take a while. Uh, so I'm going to, I just wanted to show you that it, 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 does, it will settle at whatever you set it at. So I'm going to go to 100 now. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, wind it to uh, 90 to start with and it'll, it'll overshoot. Like I say, boring video, watching numbers go up. <laughs> but I just, uh, yeah, I just want to, just so that you know it actually works basically. Uh, right, so it's over short, uh, just wait till it starts to settle. Yeah, uh, it's starting to go down now, so what I can do is I can, I can set it on the 100 that I want. So if I set it at the 100 now, and it will stabilise at 100. Just leave it there for a little while, just so that you can see that it's staying around 100 degrees. Take a little while to, to come back down again, but at least it hasn't shot right up anyway. So, uh, well, I might as well go to 200. Yeah, so I'll start at 190. So I've got to 190, it's over short, and so I'll just wait until that sort of starts to settle down. Uh, it's starting to come down again now, so it's coming down, so what I'll do is I'll put it onto the uh, actual 200 that I want. It should still keep coming down until it reaches 200 and then it should just stabilise. Take it a little while. Like I say, it takes a while for this to oh, cool down. Burnt myself. A little red light says don't touch, and I touched it. Ow! <laughs> Anyways, right, what I'll do is I'll uh, we'll take it up to 300. Uh, so, so we've got 290 to start with. Wait a little while while I suck my finger. There we go, 290 now, so what it should do, then this should start settling back down again. Once it starts settling down, I'll just slowly take it up to uh, 300. So we're at 
set the target at 300 so this should now start leveling off at uh, 300 degrees Ouch, that hurt with that. quite subtle. Um, the max, well these are advertised around uh, 260 degrees, 270 degrees, so we've, uh, I guess that's why they're cheap, uh, because they've probably failed some QI or something that they should be about 270. But anyways, uh, so we're getting 300 out of this one. Uh, if I turn it, I've, I've capped this off at 310, so if I turn it on full blast, to, uh, 310, uh, that's about the max I can get out of this heater, which is uh, it's well high enough anyway, so 310 is, uh, well, that'll pretty much melt anything really. I'm surprised this hasn't turned on fire yet. Uh, And at any time uh, you want to turn it off, uh, go, you know, set it back to zero, uh, you just push this button. So if you just push the button, uh, it sets the target at zero and then uh, basically off. But, I mean, if I just leave that for a bit now, it's actually off now. Um, so you can see how slow that is going to take to cool down. And that's why you have to be careful when setting the temperature. It will overshoot if you're not too careful and it, it does take a while to cool down again. So you're best to take it up to a lower level and then gradually bring it up to the, the level that you want. Well I hope you found that interesting. Anyway, I'm sorry it's a boring boring video but uh, I just wanted to show that, that it did actually work. Okay, 